everybody, Kitsune Haruri here, and welcome to my channel. Uh, today, it's a wet and humid day, as evidenced by the frizzy Irish curse I have going on here. So, I'm inside instead of out in my garden planting, and I'm doing some more blind box openings. The first one I'm doing, I waited on for a little while. I had to make some decisions whether I wanted to do it or not, but there was an awful lot of cute stuff I was seeing in the advertisements, and I just couldn't resist because they had foxes. What can I do? So, if you're on Facebook, you've probably seen the ads for Kika Goods. Now, a lot of these ads I'm a little hesitant to go into just because, you know, this is some of those sites are a little iffy, but I went in, I looked around at Kika Goods, and they're pretty legit. They have some really nice little figures. Uh, yes, it is coming out of China, but then again, a lot of them are. Um, but I've been looking at some of these figures being resold on Etsy for insane prices. And really, the prices for the blind boxes as they're selling them at Kika Goods are no different than if you were picking them up at your local bookstore or grocery store or wherever else you happen to get your little blind box art figures at. And I ordered two items that I know what they are, and then they also had a scratch and dent kind of mystery pack, which if I remember correctly has three figures in it, but you don't know what even what kind of figures you're getting. So I decided to do that because that sounded cool. And the package came, it was within two weeks roughly, I can't remember the exact time, but it was a decent amount of time. It wasn't really too long. And here I've got it. Now, the two on the top are the ones that I planned on ahead of time. Got the old knife. And I had been looking at the one all over Etsy, and I really, really wanted one. I just wasn't willing to pay people's prices for them. And they, they were going pretty high. And I knew it was reselling, so all I had to do was go and find out where they got it from. Turns out it was Kika Goods. So, <laughs> or at least that's where I found them at. And the first one that I had... Oh, that's so heavy. That's got some weight to it. That's nice. Anyway, I was looking for these. And there's like all sorts of little different designs of these little celestial foxes, I guess you would call them. Um, the brand is called the Ancient Gumiho, which is the Korean version of a Kitsune. Um, product name, the Ancient Gumiho. <laughs> and I've been really, really just dying to open up one of these. So that's the first one I'm going to be doing. The next one I just happened to notice on Kika Goods, and I thought they were just too stinking cute. And I really, really wanted them. And it's called Forest Firefly Lapily. Or wait a second, this one's telling me exactly what I got. It's not a blind box after all. Anyway, they chose for, I let them choose for me which character I got. Um, but Lapily, 8 design plus 1 secret. These are just like really cute little forest fairy kind of creatures. Um, and again, like I said, I didn't get to choose which one got sent, but apparently it's not a blind box. It's just blind choice. So we'll see what she looks like. The rest are in here. And I know there's three boxes in here, but I don't know what. That will go last. So since we know what's in here, let's go ahead and get this one opened up. Um, there are nine choices. They're all really stinking cute. I don't know how well you can see on the image there. But I really, really, really wanted one of these. <laughs> it feeds into the blind box doll cute thing collecting all of that. Got a tearaway top and a flap with a keyhole. I'm going to look at the card. Even though I pretty well know what it is. That's a pretty sizable piece here. Fifty-two toys. Okay. 
Let's see what we have here. Or maybe it doesn't tell you exactly what you're getting. It doesn't. Okay. Well, the box says Firefly. What I really have is a bee. Isn't she darling? His little semi-see-through wings. These, her little palms are fuzzy on top. Little stinger. Cute little stars on the side holding a little pot of honey that's also semi-see-through. Lovely. And there's the little card that goes along with for the bee. That is super cute. So I guess when it says Firefly on the front, it really is just the collection name. And the main character is this Firefly. But there's a Firefly, a bee, a pink rabbit, a wolf, a deer, a squirrel, a mushroom, a little fox, you know I want that, and the hidden edition, which you only see the shadow of on here, of course. That is really cute. There's, there's fluff all the way around here. I love the flocking. Branding on the bottom. And that is a good weighty little figure. That's not too terribly tiny. If you want to look compared to some of these others up here. This one may not fit in my box. <laughs> so that is actually a surprise. And a very nice one too. So let's go ahead and have a look at my fox. Now I know this is a fox because, well, they're all foxes. There's a little thumb hole tear at the back. I can't read the names of each of the kinds on here because they are written, I assume, in Korean. Alright. And inside, a rather sizable bag. As you can see, that's as big as my whole hand. Oh, it's a big, big figure. Here's the tear. Here's the tear. Oh my. Oh, beautiful. Not only is it the full nine tail, which actually, yeah, full nine tails, it's a purple one. Look at this beauty. The blue to purple gradient looks like a lotus. The tiny little bell around the neck. Absolutely beautiful. Let me tip this up so you can see a little bit better. This is a positively huge figure. There's a little card with this one as well. I, of course, cannot read it, but that's okay. That's what we have Google Translate on our phones for. Beautiful. Absolutely love these, and these are series two on this one. I would like to find some more of those. I may order a few more and see what I get. There's the card for that one. Now for the real mysteries. These I have no idea what I've gotten. It was entirely the choice of Kika Goods. So I don't know if they look at what you're buying and then make a decision from that or if these are like pre-pack and send. A lot like my Lucky Bags boxes are. But we're about to find out. Now the boxes, it says that the boxes could be dented or broken or whatever. I'm not worried about the box. I'm not here collecting boxes. I'm collecting figures and toys. So let's see what we have. 
Ooh. Oh, these look like they're going to be cutesy things, too. So the first one is a little doll, and it says Eula. And there's a whole bunch of little boys and girls dressed in costumes. So the one that they show on the front appears to be a little sheep. There are 12 available choices, which include Windmill Baby, Sunflower Pumpkin, Tomato, Milkmaid, Bunny, Tractor, Scarecrow, Worker, Breeder, Wolfling, and it says Farmer, but it's a mystery, so you don't get to see what they look like. Let's see what this little figure is. Now, I'm not, not actually seeing any damage to the box. So maybe they're just extras. Some of them that they've taken off the line. I don't know. Oop. I got something. Alright, there's this little plastic piece. It says row life. It has a little, it's a little clover. Don't know. That popped out first. It says row life all over the packaging too. And inside. They smell funny. <laughs> I have pumpkin. Check it out. He's riding around in a little push cart pumpkin. Cute little thing. Has a pumpkin cap hat. Of course, pumpkin with wheels. They don't actually turn, but they're wheels. And the little polka dot dress. I assume it's a little girl then. Wearing a little dress really cute. I don't know what this does. And this is just a little display piece to go along with them. And there's a card, of course, with this one. Oh, there's more. Okay, there's a couple of cards in here. And it's in Korean, and then apparently there's something on their little foot, or the bottom, to pay attention to. Oh, there's a little, uh, scan code on the bottom. And here's the little pumpkin card. And there's cute little things on the back as well. Very nice. I'm going to have to look up and see what that little scan code is supposed to be about. In all likelihood it takes you to a site that's in Korea and won't do me a lick of good. But that's okay. Curiosity killed the cat. <laughs> So the next one I've got is not so cute, <laughs> and it says Pumpus Eagle, and I guess they're, are they soccer players? I don't know. <laughs> There's a bunch of dudes wearing uniforms, and I, I assume they're, they're soccer or rugby or something. It says Ace Player. And there's all sorts of these foil things which usually come on with official collector stuff. Let's see what's in here. Here's the bag. It says Ace Player all over it. Oh dear. Um, I have a feeling.
feeling this probably represents maybe an actual player. I don't know. And sorry if it does, but, um, dude ugly. Oh my god. That is not a flattering figure. <laughs> D. Maria says, number 11. Um, I, I guess if you follow sports, somebody might know who that is. Um, he's very well articulated. His head moves shoulder. He's got articulation at the wrist and the ankle. Is his waist turned to? No. Wrist, ankle, shoulder, and head. Yeah, he's like a little player dude. Okay. Here he is. There's a card. Di Maria. Angel Di Maria. Okay. Yeah, well, um. Okay, so there's a guy. <laughs> um, it's a well made figure, and if you're in sports, you may like him. I'm into cute things, as is evidenced here. And anime, and he. And not really my thing, but. You know, it was a blind bag thing. There had to, there was a good chance there'd be something in there that didn't actually suit my personality. <laughs> but we have one more, so let's move on. And let's not lament him too much. This last one actually did have a dinged box, which is no big deal. Be Kind's Secret. By Simon Toys. These appear to be girls in traditional costume. And we're back to the cute, which thrills me to no end. Take a look at this package. Isn't that lovely? There are nine, of course, one of which is a secret. Let's see about her. Don't know what it says on top, but there's a nice little thing on there. Simon Toys logo on the bottom. Let's open her up and have a look. Let's get some cute back in this room. And yeah, the, the package is pretty squished. I shouldn't imagine that it would affect the figures. They are vinyl. Here's a little bag. No damage, and oh, isn't she sweet? Oh, well, yeah, I guess you want to see too, don't you? Look at this beautiful little girl. She has little birds and a flower in her hair. I think it's a flower. Yeah, it's like a little flower crown and birds. Gradient pink and yellow with purple trims. She's positively lovely little thing, and look at her hairdo. That is super cute. Oh, I'd love to have some more of those, but I'll bet you anything is a discontinued or something. And she has a little card as well. Again, I can't read any of it, but she sure is pretty. A little scan code on the back. What a cute little figure. Alright, we're back on track with that one. Be Kind's Secret. She's actually the first one that's on the on the collection. Alright, I am very happy with her. Um, all in all, what I am seeing here from Kika Goods are some very, very well made figures. They all have a good weight to them. They're solid. The design work the details are excellent, um, even if one of them is somewhat not to my taste. He was well made as well. I've not usually seen too many of these small vinyl figures that are articulated, but there you have it.
And all in all, what I'm going to say is, if you see something on these Kika Goods advertisements that you like, jump on it. Go for it. Um, their prices are pretty much on the average, so you're going to be looking at maybe anywhere from 5 to 10 maybe a little more or less, you know, depending, for each one of these figures, or if you get a special deal like I did on the three, and you can get a little bit cheaper. Um, if you don't want... Now, they don't just have cutesy things, by the way. They have mecha and everything else going on. So if you like mechas, which I might I get a few of them, too, because some of them are cool looking. Yeah, they're going to have stuff like that for you as well. It's not just the cutesy schmutzy things that I go for. But guys, yeah, I say you see some Kika goods, get you some Kika goods. I'm really, really very pleased with my purchase. And I very likely will be purchasing from them again. As usual, this is not sponsored or anything. This is my personal opinion. And um, I think my opinion is pretty good. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. And bye-bye. Thank you.